Now, you might be asking, what about wide receiver, Chris? Don't you want to see Jackson Smith and Jigba on the New Orleans Saints? And yes, in a perfect world, in La La Land, yes, I would love to see JSN lined up with Michael Thomas, lined up with Chris Olave, lined up with Rashid Shaheed. That sounds absolutely amazing. But let me say this about wide receiver and why I think people who want a wide receiver in the first round are really underestimating what they have at the current position and overestimating what they have at other positions. If Michael Thomas goes down again, the Saints still have Chris Olave, who I believe is a wide rec- going to be a wide receiver one, almost one rookie of the year, despite having okay quarterback play at best, and should get even better in year two. And behind him is Rashid Shaheed, who almost had 500 receiving yards, despite not really becoming a full-time starter for this team until November. And he played great in December and played great in January, and every game he looked like he was improving. How about that kid? I think he deserves some credit. Now, after him, it's not great, right? Brian Edwards, Kirk Merritt, I get that. But let's go look at the defensive end. What happens if Cam Jordan goes down? You are looking at Carl Granderson and Peyton Turner as your starting defensive end. Do you want that? Not so sure about that. How about linebacker? If one of Pete Werner or Demario Davis goes down, you are looking at maybe Andrew Dowell starting at linebacker. You are looking at them maybe shuffling around and saying, all right, do we throw Zach Bond in there? Do we throw in DeMarco Jackson, the former rookie out of uh, App State? These are like all unknowns. Whereas for the Saints, it's like, yes, if Michael Thomas goes down, that stinks. But I know that Brian Edwards is a football player. I know that Chris Olave has loads of potential. I know that Rashid Shaheed has the speed to really be a threat in the Saints offense, especially now that you got Derek Carr, who's going to throw the deep ball way more than Andy Dalton ever did. And even if, let's say, you don't go receiver. Still got Jawan Johnson at tight end, who's a receiver trans, uh, transitioned into that position. You got Taysom Hill, who's just an overall really versatile ball player. You still have Troutman. Big Fish is not an elite pass catcher, but you, you have a comfortability there with him. And that's like the eighth guy that you're going to go down the list for, even if you lose a guy at wide receiver. Whereas at defensive line, whereas at offensive line, all of a sudden you're, you're going, man, this is such a flaw that this thing could really get exposed by teams every single Sunday. So that's why for me, I'm not screaming and yelling. Well, I am screaming and yelling, but I'm not screaming and yelling that the Saints should go after JSN because it sounds great. I think it would be fun as all hell, but man, they don't need it. They don't need it. I think it would be bad asset management. And I said this before and I'll say it again. The Saints made a lot of moves to win this year. They go into this year and they don't have enough firepower on defense. When they have a defensive-minded head coach, they're dead in the water. They're absolutely dead in the water because then you're banking on Pete Carmichael and Derek Carr to save the ship from sinking. And I don't know if that's going to happen. 